Welcome to Differential Equations, Chapter 2, Section 6. In this section, we will be learning about exact equations. So previously, we had the same format where we had some function m of x and y and some function n of x and y times y prime is equal to 0. And um, we only had like x in the m and y in the n, so it was a separable equation. In this case, it is not separable, so we have to use a different method to solve for it. So the way we can say it's an exact equation is by taking the partial derivative of m with respect to y and setting that equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So like these two must be equal in order to solve it this way. So um, the way I remember this is I actually have, I actually use my next move because you always want to move forward, so my next move. So that that just keeps me, um, it, it makes sure that I'm doing the right one, I'm not doing m, x, or n, y. So we've got this problem, so we have 2x plus y squared plus 2x y y prime is equal to zero. So we can say that this is going to be the m, this is going to be n. And we want to find my next move. And we'll put a question mark above it because we don't know if it's true or not. So we'll find partial derivative of m with respect to y. So this partial derivative, so the x is going to go away. We know it's just going to be 2y. Partial derivative of n with respect to x. So this will just become 0, or 1, my apologies. And so we'll just get 2y. And we know that my is equal to nx because it's 2y is equal to 2y. So now we're going to use this Greek letter psi. And we're going to say it's psi of a function of x. Um, I don't know if it's the right notation, but that's just what I do. I know it's psi, but I don't know if it's of just x or x and y. Now, that's going to be equal to the integral of, we're going to take m dx. So it's going to be the opposite of this one. So it's going to be 2x plus y squared dx. And what does this equal? So that's going to go to x squared plus xy squared plus some function h of y. The h of y comes because we have no x in this portion of the function, so we have to account for it h of y also includes a integration constant. So now we have to find some function psi of y, and that is the integral of n, so 2xy, and it's going to be dy, opposite of the partial, which is x. And this is going to be equal to, oops, not 2, um, xy squared plus some function h of x. So now we're going we're gonna to compare these two, and we notice we have x squared alone on this top one. We have x, y squared um, both on each of them, and then we have h of x and h of y. So we're going to write out the full solution, which is going to be psi of x and y, which is going to be equal to, so we have x squared, and then we have x, y squared, and then these h... Um, those are just sort of placeholders. We're going to just use them for integration constants. Um, if there's some solutions, um, there's some solutions that you're going to have to use these later on, but we probably won't get into them. So we're just going to leave that as an integration constant, and we'll move that over to the other side. So we have x squared plus xy squared is equal to c, and that is our solution. We'll go on to the next problem where we have, we have y cosine x plus 2x e to the y plus sine x plus x squared e to the y minus 1 times y prime is equal to 0. So once again, we know this is m and this is n. So partial derivative of uh, m with respect, so my next move, so partial derivative of m with respect to y, so that is going to be cosine x plus 
2xe to the y. Partial derivative of n, whoops, that was bad n, with respect to x is going to be cosine x plus 2xe to the y. Do these match? Yes, they do. So my is equal to nx. I usually put a check mark there just to signify that, you know, we can finally solve it. So once again, we're trying to find psi of just x. And once again, it's the integral um, of m. And m is going to be y cosine x plus 2xe to the y. And we're going to take the opposite of this one. So it's going to be dx. So that will go to sine x. We'll actually put the y out front. Plus, and then that will go x squared e to the y. And don't remember, some function h of y. Next, we'll have some function psi of y, which is equal to the integral of n. And n is sine x plus x squared e to the y minus 1. And then we're going to have dy because it's the opposite of the partial. And then this one will be equal to y sine x plus x squared e to the y plus some function h of x. Once again, we're going to compare these two. So we have these are the same, these are the same, and we can ignore those for now. So we can say psi of x and y is going to be equal to y sine x plus x squared e to the y. And once again, these are integration constants. Oops, I couldn't see that. My apologies. So y sine x plus x squared e to the y. And um, these are integration constants, so we'll just move it over to the other side and we'll have it equal to some constant. And we'll do one more problem. So we have 3xy plus y squared plus x squared plus xy times y prime is equal to 0. So once again, we're trying to find my next move, so partial derivative of m with respect to y. And so that would go to 3x plus 2y. Partial derivative of n with respect to x will be 2x plus y. Well, we know that my does not equal nx. We can say this is not an exact solution, but the problem is we can, you can, we can utilize an integration factor. So we have two cases with that. We have um, my minus nx, which is over, um, let me check here quick. I believe it's over n. I'm going to double check that really fast. <laughs> um, yep, over n. So this is going to be case 1. And then we have case 2, which is going to be nx minus my over m. So we're going to use case 1 in this case, in this time. Um, you can choose either one of them. Um, one of them might be easier to use or one of them might not work. Um, usually just try case 1 and then try case 2. So anyways, um, so we've got this one. So we will have some function, oops, mu of t, which is going to be equal to so my is going to be 3x plus 2y minus nx, which is 2x plus y, which is all over n, which is x squared plus xy. And this will go to, so we have 3x minus 2x is x, 2y minus y is going to be just y over x squared plus xy. Let's check the other case, um, just to, to see if one's going to be easier than the other. So case 2, let's say. So nx minus my all over m. So this will go to, okay, so nx was, oops, right, an equal sign, 2x plus y minus 
3x plus 2y all over 3xy plus y squared. So we'll have this equal to 2x minus 3x is going to be negative x y over or y minus 2y is going to be negative y and then m we'll just leave the same 3xy plus y squared so I can compare these two and this one looks a lot easier so we can actually simplify this more so We'll write this out again. Mu of t, which is equal to x plus y over x squared plus xy. This can go to x plus y, which is over x times x plus y. And then we can uh, take out these x plus y's, and this will actually go to 1 over x. Okay, so now, now that's out of the way. I'll actually write out the problem again, just so you guys can see it. So we have 3xy plus y squared plus x squared plus xy. Y, y prime is equal to 0. And we have this integration factor. So we can multiply each one by it. And we'll have 3x squared y plus xy squared. And that's going to be the m plus x cubed plus x squared y, y prime is equal to zero. So this is going to be the m, n. So my next move. So m, y is going to be 3x squared plus 2x, y. n, x is going to be 3x squared plus um, 2xy. Okay, so now we know my is equal to nx. So we're going to have some function psi of x, which is equal to the integral of... I'm going to move it up for you. Okay, it's equal to the integral of m, which is 3x squared y plus xy squared dx because it's the opposite of my next move this will go to x cubed y plus um, one half x squared y squared plus some function h of y then we have psi of y which is equal to the integral of n and n is x cubed plus x squared y dy because once again, it's the opposite of it. And this will go to x cubed y plus 1 half x squared y squared plus some function h of x. So we have these two both matching. We can do the same thing as last time. So we'll just finish it off by saying psi of x and y is equal to x cubed times y plus one half x squared y squared is equal to some constant. And this is our solution. So just to recap on this, we have these two cases, um, let's see, these two cases, um, my minus nx over n and nx minus my over m. Um, I recommend using are trying both cases and trying to find the easiest one to solve. One might be a lot more difficult than the other. Um, it's going to be the same method, just mul uh, multiply everything by that function mu of t, just like you did in, um, I believe it was 2.2. Um, so then you're just going to do the same method and finally find your function psi of x of y.